One day I'll dress like a like a 50s greaser girl and the next day it's like something completely different. I'm wearing like silk harem pants and a, a Victorian cotton blouse. Up until I was in the third grade, every three um, or four months, we would like be living somewhere else for three or four months at a time because my parents were working. We got to live in like Luxembourg and Las Vegas and uh, Tennessee and we lived in, when I was in the second grade, we lived in France for four months and uh, so as I, I, I'm from Idaho, I now live in Los Angeles, but um, I feel like we were very nomadic, so like, I like, lived in hotels up until I was in the third grade. Okay, like, when I wake up, I kind of dress like exactly how I'm feeling that day, and I kind of like, depending on what music I'm listening to, and depending on what movie I've just watched, like, I like creating like little narratives for myself, or if I need like a certain kind of energy that day, like if I need to be like this really strong female persona that day. I kind of like, it's not like becoming other people, but it's like bringing out different sides of me. I'm hoping to put how I feel on the inside, on the outside, so that people who recognize um, that they like that can find me easier. My friend Gus coined this term last year, that, uh, he calls it a scout fit, which is pretty much just like the crazy shit that I wear. I've had this since I was 14. I bought it at a a vintage store in the valley. But the problem is, it started ripping. It was always like a joke in my family because it used to not have. It used to have its original lining was like this gold color, and um, and the the lining got so shredded up in the back that it like hung down to the floor. So my dad stole it from me one day, and he he asked me what color I wanted, and I said red. And next time I got my coat, it had this brilliant, amazing lining. I was living in France, I started reading like a ton of Escoff Fitzgerald, and the way that he described women was so inspiring for me. And I started every day, I just wore like silk slips and boots. I would pick out my outfit for school, and I would get so excited that I had to like put it on, and I would like have a hard time sleeping and I wanted to wear it. Whenever I need to go out, I'm kind of having like a hard day and like, like something really embarrassing happens, I just need to go and like be really strong. I, I wear all my turquoise and they're like my talismans. Late 50s, early 60s men's fashion is like, I, I die for it. All I want to do is be a greaser. I went to the bathroom and spent like 30 minutes mastering how to like, so like I took the top part of my hair and I, and I like put it aside and like I slick the back part and like put it up and so I have like side of my head shaved so it's kind of like doodly anyways. Then I took this top part and like puffed it up and kind of slicked it up with gel in such a way that like I've mastered like how to, with, with all this like long crazy hair, how to give myself like a 50s greaser pompadour. Like this skirt, mm -hmm. I stopped, I found it at the Rose Bowl on the same table where I got like all the, a lot of the Victorian stuff that's in my closet. And it's so beautiful and you can tell like it, it had like a bustle at one point because it goes out back here. These boots were a gift actually. A really good friend of mine had them forever and I always wanted a pair. And and she was like, she was like, blue suede or black leather? I was like, up to you. And she decided that I needed the blue suede. I was wearing like these shorts and like my really ripped up like vintage t-shirt. And all of a sudden it's like super chic. But then so I just decided to put red thread through the nipple. I was like, is that for Kabbalah? Is that for Haiti? And I was kind of like, no, it's just kind of my thing. And I just took this ring out finally. But I got sad and didn't want to close up because I got it pierced with my sister. Um, so I just put blue thread in it. My dad picked this out for me for Christmas, and it's just like, it's just so me. And I just opened it, and I assumed at first uh, that my stepmom had something to do with it, but she was like, no, he went and fully just picked it out and did his thing. And I realized, actually, my friend Shay the other day finally told me, uh, on the top, she rather says, I choose all, which is kind of magical. And so I started wearing it around when it was really cold, and I was like, you know what, if it was like a little scary because it's so kind of wild that, but I was like, you know what? The more that I just like wear it, everyone in like a few days will be like, oh yeah, like scouts hat. Like it's kind of like I feel like, like they're like uh -huh. so many crazy things I have in I my closet it. that like if I wear them enough times, people are just gonna have to accept that like that's what I'm wearing. My mom was pushing me and saying like, why aren't you doing writing? Why are you doing writing? Because I wasn't when I was younger. It was kind of like, oh, scouts gonna be a writer. Like that's your thing. I w I went and looked at this poetry class and I was like. And I started looking at like literary arts, and I was like, oh, right, like literary arts and visual arts. And I started doing this poetry class, and I'm like writing this notebook, and it's just like, 
it's like I can feel my blood again. And also I feel like this like crazy writer lady because it was like 3 o'clock in the morning and I, like this song came on and I was like, oh my god, I've got to write. And like grabbed my notebook and was like writing feverishly in my bed. I felt like a crazy person. But it was great. It's like a great feeling, like a crazy person. <laughs> You were I know that's funny because like with all the writing I'm doing, with every outfit I mm. pick, I almost write like mm -hmm. a backstory to I it. can hear that. So like if I'm wearing like big bell bottoms and all of a sudden I'll wear like platform sandals and like a little like 70s cardigan, like I, I can go like too much and it's, I end up looking like I'm doing like a 70s theme that day. So I like mixing and matching. So mine's kind of this like amalgamation of like a bunch of different things and inspiration. I was like, as long as you're trying to like mm -hmm dress like someone else or be someone else, you're always going to be second best. Clothing, you just kind of like, you can be whatever part of yourself you want to be. And explore characters who you've never even tried out.